Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Big Lee's Worlds Podcast. It is I, your host, Big Lee, coming to you back once again from the Boom Boom Room right here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And uh, this episode is going to be a short one. This is just kind of to respond to all the DMs and messages I've got kind of asking, you know, where the podcast has been the past few weeks and uh, kind of just give an update on everyone to what's been going on and just uh Kind of stay in touch with everybody. So first things first, I want to thank everybody that went to BigLeesWorld.com and picked up that Big Lee's World t-shirt. Um, I appreciate it. You know, it's always great to see people wearing my logo on a t-shirt. Um, so I, that, that's just awesome to me. So I appreciate all the love and support with that. And uh, I appreciate everyone that's been going through the back catalog and listening to the uh, previous episodes. I've uh, noticed through the count that a lot of folks have been going through the back catalog in my absence and uh, checking out some of the older episodes. So that's really cool. And I appreciate that support there. But yeah, to answer a lot of these uh, DMs I've gotten, kind of asking about where 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 everything is basically. Um, so on that last episode I did with Caleb from the Four Sides podcast, I had talked about uh, having basically like a fire, like a upset stomach, like almost like food poisoning of sorts. Well, that kind of escalated uh, with the coldness and the weather. And my immune system, I guess, is getting pretty low. Ended up with a very rough case of bronchitis. And uh, that kind of took me out of the game for a little bit there. And um, originally, I was kind of nervous because uh, a few days after some symptoms had started, I'd actually gotten my first round of the COVID vaccine. And uh, I was afraid that it was uh, worsening side effects of the vaccine. And... um, basically about three to four days of it of it getting pretty rough i ended up going to the doctor and uh they gave me uh lots of medicine and uh two uh shots in the booty to uh get me back in some sort of commission here to uh try to get better but yeah uh i've gotten pretty well sick there and it was rough. Uh, I know I talked to some people in the process of it there, and it had gotten so bad that, uh, you know, I was losing vision. Like, I was having really bad blurred vision. I wasn't sleeping. I actually ended up losing 20 pounds over the course of eight days because I my food intake was like a bottle of Gatorade a day and then just chugging any kind of, like, cough syrup, or anything that could kind of like ease the pain of it there. So things got pretty rough. Uh, there were some moments, like I said, with the lack of sleep and dealing with uh, all that was going on. That uh, like it got some pretty dark times. I'll say the le- to say the least there. So uh, I'm glad that we've kind of moved past that point and. Uh, I learned a lot in that time. First off, 34 years old, first time I ever bought like a uh, air humidifier. And let me tell y'all, if y'all do not have an air humidifier, 10 out of 10 recommend getting one. Most definitely, if you do not have an one of those humidifiers, go get you one right now. Because when that wild storm came in with the already having the bronchitis and... Uh, the older people that live below me constantly turning their heat up and it's just constant dry air on top of everything else. That definitely uh, did not help the bronchitis. But once I got the humidifier and was able to uh, kind of clean up that air that was coming up from their heat, um, it definitely made me feel a lot better. So most definitely do that. And uh, like I said, you'll be... You'll be feeling like you're living like a king, basically, once you get one of those. But yeah, most definitely just uh first part of that there was, it was quite scary of a time. And uh, like I said, I appreciate everybody, especially those that found out in the process of what was going on. And they checked on me, sent well wishes. You know, I appreciate that much love. and I appreciate the support y'all checking on me, making sure that I'm still kicking and making sure nothing happened and then 
You know, like I said in the process, I ended up getting my uh, first round of COVID vaccine, which I was really excited for because, you know, anything that's going to help get back to a normal life uh, here in America, that is, uh, that, that's the goal. That's the goal for me specifically as well. But uh, definitely feels good to have, uh, I'm uh, actually at the recording of this is the 15th, and I actually go, oddly enough, this coming up Sunday to get round two of the vaccine. So I'm pretty stoked about getting that. And then I think they said it's like two to three weeks after you get the uh, second round of the vaccine that uh, it fully kicks in and you should be uh, well on your way of what you need to be. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, You know, some of the down effects, though, of dealing with the bad case of the bronchitis, the food poisoning, the dry air and it seemed just like everything started to pile on top of each other. But um, I was able to uh, make it felt good enough and clean enough and all that fun jazz too. I did make it to the Anna Fight Underground, the Big League's birthday bash, which uh, which was a treat in itself. And I'm sure that Caleb and I from the Four Sides podcast, uh, as we uh, get, get everything back going into business here, uh, I'm sure him and I will sit down and kind of talk about that show in detail and kind of give you all an update on everything. As far as uh, the big show coming up April 29th back at Quick Skating Rink in Anna, Illinois, uh, bringing back Tag Team Warfare. Um, one of my favorites, the leader of the 440, Ricky Shane Page, is uh, coming back to team with uh, Cash Borden to go against Ty Blade and Dalton Diamond. And uh, also on this point, at this point, I want to give a special shout out to Cash Borden. Hope you start feeling well, brother. Uh, he had a match over this weekend, and uh, you know things in the business happen, and uh, ended up having to get 41 uh, staples from a light tube spot. So uh, get well soon, brother. Uh, you know we look forward to seeing you again soon. But um, like I was saying, overall, you know it was a great time at the show, and uh, it felt good to be out and feeling a little bit better health and then um you know unfortunately due to keeping trying to get the immune system back up and things of that nature you know unfortunately i did have to miss that uh last zero one show which uh i'm not happy about missing but it was what needed to be done and i felt you know i felt bad about missing i felt bad about missing the first wrestlemax show i know we were talking about that as well we was pretty excited you know um, we talk time and time again about being huge, uh, KLD, uh, fans. So, you know, I'm glad that he had a successful show and, uh, I do look forward to trying to make it out there to the next one. Hopefully, uh, everything goes okay and, uh, nothing else crazy happens. Uh, I do, uh, oddly enough, now that I start getting a little better besides a few lingering effects of the bronchitis, uh, afterwards or aftermath, I should say. I did a trip over a box fan and hurt my ankle. So, uh, you know, if it ain't the sickness and I get hurt. So hopefully I'm getting that, uh, rehabbed here and, uh, could be back in commission, you know, out and about and stuff like that. So try just trying to get everything, uh, back in shape, you know, spring's coming around. A lot more stuff is opening up, getting that vaccine, you know, getting more events, trying to travel and stuff like that. Uh, I do plan to, uh, Go out to the East Coast this summer. I do want to go to the ICW No Hose Bar show. So hopefully this uh, vaccine and everything will kick in and do its work and get those numbers down so that uh, we can get out there and enjoy some great uh, death matches this summer. I do plan to go out also to the Southern Sickness Cup out there in Indiana with a J.C. Rotten. He's putting that on uh we went to the first one. It was a blast. And you can check out his episode of the Big Leagues World Podcast back in the archives on your favorite podcast platforms and at BigLeaguesWorld.com. And um, as far as the future goes moving forward, uh, now that I'm feeling much better and able to function, I do uh, plan to start having the podcast back on a more regular basis, uh, working on getting some guests lined up. A couple of confirmed uh, a couple, uh, it's going to be a surprise and one or two of them I'm really excited to announce. I'm just having to hold off and work out a date that we can record. So, uh, pretty excited about that as well. Um, otherwise, uh, like I said, you know, we have, uh, 
the big Anna Fight Underground show coming up April 29th back at Quicks. Uh, you can get those tickets at uh, linktr.ee slash Fight Underground Anna. Or you can go to the Facebook page and there's a link there as well to get them. So make sure you get those tickets. Those tickets are selling extremely quick. This is looking to be our first sold out show that we've had over there. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, overall, I'm just really excited about feeling a whole lot better and being able to function and breathe and not cough every 15 seconds. So, like I said, I appreciate everybody reaching out. Uh, appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody checking on me, making sure that, you know, if I need anything or if I'm okay or things like that. I appreciate all the love and support from y'all. And uh, I hope y'all continue to support the podcast as we continue to move forward. Uh, make sure if you haven't yet, go go to BigLeesWorld.com and pick you up a uh, Big Lee's World t-shirt. Make sure you, uh, you rep the brand out there. I appreciate it. Make sure if you get a shirt, you tag me. Send me the picture. You know, tag me on the socials, stuff like that, so I can see it and put it out there. And like I said, I appreciate all the love and support from y'all. And... Um, Looking forward to what the future holds this, uh, this year for the podcast and make sure to, uh, like, share, subscribe, support the podcast. Check, check out the backlog at, uh, your favorite podcast platforms and at bigleesworld.com. If you ever have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at bigleesworld.com as well as, uh, go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at bigleesworld. And I appreciate all the love and support, like I said. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, checking in on me in the dark time these this past uh, few weeks. But uh, just know that I'm starting to feel a whole lot better. And uh, like I said, I appreciate it. And we're getting the train back going here. We're uh, getting the podcast in full effect. And I look forward to seeing you all out at some shows. And uh, like I said, appreciate the support. As always, much love. Two scoops of whoop, whoop, whoop.